guys, so I have been buying quite a few things for the past couple of months. Um, and I've fallen in love with a lot of things. A lot of things not so much, but I wanted to share with you the things that I have been loving really the past couple of months. So I'm gonna go ahead and just label this my current favorites or just favorites. But the first thing are these notebooks. I got these from Marshalls. This is a 2016 calendar. This is just a notebook. And what I love about them is that they come with already a little bookmark ribbon. And these are by Echolo. If you want to get you one, they're, you can either go to Marshalls and I'll leave the website down below. But I absolutely love them. I went ahead and filled in pretty much the whole year of things that I can think of that I want to do now. Um, you can do the month by month uh, first and then you do the week by weeks, which is really nice. And so it has the weeks here and then it has like notes over here. So it's just really, really nice. And then at the very end, it has like quite a few pages just um, dedicated to the notes section. But it's really great quality and it's just really smooth and pretty. I'm not really a pink person, but it had gold polka dots. So, I mean, come on. And so I love that. And the notebook is just, it's actually harder material. It's by the same uh, company, but see, it's like a hardback. But I just love the pages and how beautiful it is. And it has like a little ribbon thing here like a little bookmark and I'm just loving it just writing ideas in there and um, taking notes for work and it's just really nice and one thing I hate about notebooks normally is that you get them and they're usually thin material and they end up like getting all broken up and the pages ripping and stuff in my purse because I like to carry them with me same with planners and usually the planners are way too small for me to write in but these are just perfect and I really recommend them so the next random thing is this little guy it is a pour over little cup see the little ridges in there and ever since me and Garrett went on our vacation um, before or during Thanksgiving we went to Austin Texas and it was so beautiful there but um, we came across this one coffee shop and they had pour overs and we pretty much went there every single day the whole week we were there and I fell in love. So my sister knew that. She bought me this guy for Christmas and I've been making pour overs every single day. I'll make my first cup with a Keurig because I'm like dying to have my cup of coffee first thing in the morning. And then my second cup is always with a pour over. And I don't have the kettle that comes with it. It's like a metal kettle with like a very long thin spout. But I'm just using my tea kettle or a teapot to pour it over because there is a technique. But... I absolutely love this guy right here and um, thank you sister if you're watching this um, I really appreciate this and I absolutely adore it pour overs take a while that's why it's not like my go-to thing first thing in the morning but when I want to sit down and just enjoy a nice beautiful non bitter not too hot just perfect cup of coffee this is your guy right here and so the last random favorite is my iPad mini I adore adore my ipad mini i've had an ipad in the past which broke unfortunately a while ago and um so my parents got me one for christmas and i've been on it non-stop they got my husband one too and he's loving his as well he's always on his and it is just literally freaking amazing i have so many beauty things that i am obsessed with absolutely been loving and so the first thing i'll do skincare last because Let's be honest, skincare is kind of boring. The first thing is from the Real Cheeky Party Benefit uh, little palette. I want to try to uh, depot these, but um, okay. So it comes with Hula Bronzer, Coralista, Dandelion Rock, and Sugar Balm. It also comes with a little sample of the What's Up. And then it had the Your Real, it has the Your Real Mascara, which I hate this mascara. I can't stand it. Um, and then they have the push-up liner, which I actually really like. Um, anyways, so these are my four favorites. I like this one too, but I'm obsessed with all of the pal like the blushes in this palette. It's so beautiful. And I love this. I highly recommend this for people of you out there who not really sure at first like what blush to use. That has always been something I've struggled with is finding the right color, um, how to apply it and stuff. And I absolutely love these the hula bronzer is the perfect bronzer for me uh, perfectly sculpts you can see right there and um my favorite one is dandelion honestly it's just like a perfect sheer it's not blushy right now i'm wearing dandelion and rock mixed together 
on my cheeks, but um, day to day, it's just these two are my number ones. So this little guy is a sample. I, if you can get a sample, get the sample because the main bulky one is humongous. It has like a little blender sponge, which makes no sense to me, but this has been very well loved. I have a backup one of these, um, of the sample and it is so gorgeous. I'm actually not wearing it now, so I guess I could go ahead and I like to warm it on my finger first and then I will pat it on. And it's just like the most beautiful highlight. Like, look at that. It's so gorgeous. See the difference? Next thing is a primer. Now, I have had like a love hate relationship with the Benefit Professionals primer for years. Every time I get a sample of it, I absolutely love it. Like, it's like what some people say ride or die. I have to have it. It's amazing. But then after I get done with my sample, I go buy a huge one. I've done this like two or three times. I'll go buy the big one and I'll put it on and it is crap. It doesn't do anything for my skin. I don't know why that is, but every time I get a sample or have a chance to get one of these, I get the samples only. And right now I just started working on this guy and I absolutely love it. Not with liquid foundations, but with powder foundations, which I'm wearing a powder foundation right now. So let's go ahead and talk about the powder foundation, but no, we'll talk about, finish talking about this. This, I like to press it into my skin because I have pretty large pores in the front of my face. So I'll press it in and then just like lightly like brush back the excess and does some really great things. Love that guy. Only samples though. So my favorite powder foundation, oh my gosh, I love this, is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation. I'm in light beige and it is just mm, beautiful. I absolutely love this guy. So if you're not familiar, it's got like this little pantyhoe like thing. You press your brush into it and it just blends beautifully. So absolutely, absolutely love this. Um, that's where I'm wearing today. I've actually had it on, let's see, I put it on 7 30 this morning. I've already had it on for seven hours, so it has held up really well. I haven't touched up anything. The only thing I put on is the highlight for you guys. Um, so I really love this foundation. It is perfect. I highly recommend it for you guys. Um, if you don't know, I have oily combo skin and yeah. And so the next one, my favorite foundation, I have repurchased this three times. Um, it's not the best foundation to hold up throughout the day, but it is great if you're just leaving the house um, for a few hours. I work from home. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I rarely leave the house for more than five hours at the most. So this is a great foundation for me. I got the wrong shade this time. I got 115. I'm normally 120, but um, yeah, it's a really great foundation. It's not completely mattifying. It's still kind of... It's demi matte, which is really great. So oily skin, combo skin people out there, this is a great foundation. Great drugstore foundation. And my favorite all time mascara of the entire year last year has been the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. It is beautiful. I have it in black and I have it in brown. And it's like this most beautiful little curved wand. So you can easily get all your lashes. You can flip it over to build. And it doesn't transfer. I've had this all through the summer and I've had it all through the fall and starting winter and it does not transfer at all. I'm wearing it today and it is perfect. This is better than any of the L'Oreal mascaras, any of the Benefit mascaras that I've tried, Bare Minerals, any of the high-end mascaras that I've tried. This beats every single one of them, guys. I highly recommend it. I live in a very humid climate. It's 100% humidity most of the time here. And beautiful, beautiful, amazing foundation, or amazing uh, mascara. And also, this is not waterproof. Um, I didn't get the waterproof formula, and it comes off with um, baby wipes. That's what I use to wipe my face. So that's another all-time favorite this past year has been um, my baby wipes, the Pampers Sensitive. Amazing makeup removal, super cheap, 52 wipes in each packet. It's like two bucks, two or three dollars and really great stuff. So another thing besides mascaras and foundations that I've tried a lot this year has been powders, um, setting powders, and nothing's been working. So eventually the past uh, like three, four months, I haven't been setting my makeup with anything because it's just not worth it getting cakey around here, under my eyes, making my pores stand out. It's just lately, every time I did it, like it would get super dry under my eyes 
and like it just looked horrible so i found one that i'm obsessed with that i really love it's the nyx hd finishing powder mineral based thingamabobber it's in translucent and this is like super soft and beautiful it doesn't show up white on your skin i'm wearing it today and it's kept everything smooth and beautiful and mattified but not too matte all day and it's been really really nice i actually even wear this over my powder foundation and um it's really good it doesn't bunch up anywhere it just goes on like butter so the last of the makeup which got my one of my skincare items all over it and that is the Lorac to go palette absolutely love this palette this is like my go-to amazingness like if i need to be out the door and i only have foundation and concealer on and i have nothing else on i will grab this guy and run out the door with mascara it is pretty cool so okay wham bam bam oh my god it keeps on going it's so cool these brushes are odd but uh this one's crap but this one this one's okay um but here you go you have your bl your bronzer contour palette you have well, actually that's not a contour at all you have a bronzing shade you have two blushes um okay so how i pretty much do this if i am going for a get ready ready really quick i just use these two I'll use shell as a base and then put pearl in the inner corner and on my lid. And then um, if it's a normal day and I have like, I'm not rushed to get out of the house, I'll use cafe in the crease and chai on the lids. I'm actually today I'm wearing chai very lightly on the lids and cafe really lightly in the crease and I have pearl just in the inner corner. But if I'm going for a night out or if I just want a smokier look or just like a deeper look, I'll do black in the line and then mink in the outer V and it's just so beautiful, super, super blendable and it's just really amazing. Um, I do know this bronze shade down here is a little orange if I'm in the car and I'm looking at myself in the mirror and like natural daylight can look kind of orange, but inside and you know, at night it's not bad at all. So I really love this palette and it was definitely worth the money and it is super, super beautiful and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's just a really great palette and I'm just really excited that I have something like this in my arsenals. And so the last makeup product is what I have on my lips right now, very lightly. It says the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. Whoa. And it's in the color Bed Rose. It is so beautiful. This is just perfect, super opaque and beautiful. I have it very lightly on my lips. I just lightly lined my lip line and then I just put a few lines in my lips and got my lip balm and blurred it all together and it blended beautifully. Absolutely love this color. So this is a really great creamy, super cheap, wonderful lip color thingamabobber. Have tried a lot of new brushes, gotten quite a few brush sets lately and I have two of my favorite that I really want to share with you. So the first one, it's my first time trying IT Cosmetics brushes. This was $20 at Ulta. And I highly recommend getting the little travel sizes of makeup to try out first, uh, brushes, just to see if you like it. It's kind of like getting little samples for brushes, but this right here, when I went home for Christmas, this is all I brought with me. This right here I used for my bronzer and um, it worked really great because it's super stiff. It's long, but it's super stiff, so it can blend really well. So at the corner, I can do my contour and then I can blend it out is awesome and this is like super dense but this is also what I like to use in my crease and also can like dab a color on my lid and it's super great as well and this one is like the perfect dense beautiful little angled brush that I use for my eyebrows so this is like the perfect little tiny guy that went home with me for Christmas and got me through four days of wearing makeup and left me looking flawless so I love that and so, oh my gosh, everything is getting in my lotion. Ugh. Okay, don't let it waste. Put it on your hands. All right, so this, I have bought actually three little sets from It Cosmetics and this little cute little thing. And look, oh, I have my favorite brushes. This right here bends down and you can tighten it. And so it'll sit straight up on your uh, vanity like this, which I love. I think it's super cute and smart. Um, so, okay. So what the kit came with is this right here, minus this brush. Um, 
So I'm obsessed with all these. All right, I'll just start up here. This is my favorite foundation brush. I've had this one for over a year. This is the Sculpting Brush from Real Techniques, and I use this for my powder brush, my powder powder foundation and my liquid foundation. I also use this to blend out concealer. It's just perfect. I mean, it's just so easy to get in little corners, like in under the eye, you know, work. It's tight enough but loose enough where you can work your foundation in or just pat it into your skin and it's beautiful. Love it, wash it every single day this year and no fallout whatsoever. And my next brush that I've been loving for a long time, it's actually by Sigma, it's the Tapered Highlighting Brush, it's the F35. I've had this guy for like three years. This is perfect to put blush right on the apples of the cheeks and I just dab it on. It's just really, really beautiful and perfect for my cheekbones. Next one, this is what I like to put my powder over my lids. It is the Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. And I guess I could use my, or is that concealer? Yeah, crease brush. And I just like work a bunch of powder uh, shell from the Lorac uh, To Go palette all over my lid. Sometimes I'll put a little under if I'm creasing a lot. And this is such a great brush. It picks up a good amount of product and um, it just really packs on the color and blends it out nicely. I will say it is kind of a pain to like shove everything back in these little, anyways. So this little guy um, is the base shadow brush. I tried to use it in my crease and it was just, like if I'm doing the outer V, it's like pointy. It's a little pointy little guy, flat pointy. So to put chai really lightly on my lid, what I did today, I just got it on there and just lightly brushed it across. So a nice little beautiful wash of color, love that brush. And what I've been doing lately is putting that highlighter shade Pearl just on this angle brush and like dabbing it in the inner part of my eye. Really been loving that. And this is just the brow brush. Then this little guy is so cute and awesome. Slanted brow spoolie. I use it to brush on my eyebrows, of course, but then I also like to use it to separate my lower lashes. And it's angled. How cute is that? And this actually came in another kit that was in a thing like this, but it was white. Hello, naked baby. Hello. Oh, uh, it's like, what's all that stuff in there? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm almost done. And the last actually favorite of all these brushes besides the foundation brush is the accent brush. This little guy is perfect for getting right down here in the lower lash line. It is so cute and perfect and blendable and beautiful. And I usually put just chai under my eye line. It is awesome love it so this is really convenient it has a little carrying case get you some real technique brushes they just came out with a metals collection which i think is cool but they're uber expensive for three brushes like fifty dollars not up to that yet so now i'm going to talk to you about my moisturizers these have saved my skin i use this when i was pregnant postpartum and they are huge staples in my life and i have to share them with you so for under eyes i've gone through three tubes of these in the past year or so and is the Burt Bees Intense Hydration Eye Cream with Clary Sage. Oh, this stuff is amazing. I rub it under my eyes. I put some around my nose and like dry spots during, for the daytime. And it's just beautiful. And it sinks in. My skin drinks it up. And I can go ahead and pretty much instantly put on my eyelid primer and my makeup. After this for day, I use the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Sunscreen SPF 30. This is amazing. It is this is amazing. It's so moisturizing, super creamy, amazing, blends in, soaks into my skin really nice. And then I also use the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion for nighttime. Love, 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 love this stuff. This, um, the morning one, I actually use on my husband's head. He's been shaving it completely bald with a razor. If I don't put this on his head right after I do it, his skin freaks out. So these are amazing. They're slightly pricey at the drugstore, but they're really, really great. And whenever I need an extra boost, this is the guy that leaked everywhere, but an extra boost of moisture on my face. I've been using this postpartum as well as when I was pregnant and it's just amazing. If you can find one with a pump, it is amazing. If not, you're going to have the tub. You have to dig it out. But it's the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It's just the whatever basic one. This stuff got me through my eczema days. If I have dry patches on my face, I put this on there, like dab a little bit on there at night. This is actually my eye cream for nighttime and it really, really has tremendously help my skin. I also use this all over my body after I shave my legs and arms. 
and it's super moisturizing. So those of you out there with eczema, mild eczema, try that stuff out. Guys, that's all of my favorites that I'm going to share on this video. I have quite a few hair favorites, but um, I need to do an updated hair care routine. So all those products will be on there. So look out for that video. Don't forget to like this video if you like favorite videos. I haven't done those in a very long time, but if you like these, I'll keep doing them for you. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so you will be notified or at least I'll pop up on your subscription feed so you won't miss any more videos from me. But guys, that's all I got. I love you all so much and I will talk to you all next time. Bye. Hey guys, so this is for the moms, the new moms who have babies anywhere from newborn zero months old all the way to 36 months old. Um, if you're giving your baby formula, this is perfect for you or even if you're breastfeeding and um, you need a supplement sometimes with formula this is also great for you so Gerber came out with a system called babyness so 